Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Well, I've been down the local library again and picked up this great uh, photography book, um, The A to Z of Creative Photography by Lee Frost. Now, this book came out in about, when was this published? 2000, so it's eight years old. So what we're looking at here is a book about film cameras and film DSLRs really, but don't let that put you off. Um, because in this one, the A to Z of Creative Photography, what the author does is walks you through um, all the different styles of photography you can take. And he breaks it down into you know, what the style is. So in this section we've got abstract art, a few really nice pictures of what, what subjects you might want to take pictures of. How you do it, sorry, sorry what you need, so the camera, what lenses you might think about, um, and then how to do it. Um, and surprisingly little of it um, has got anything to do with film. It's all about technique, composition, thinking about light, thinking about your aperture, thinking about your uh, focal length and thinking about your um, shutter speed. And then he has some really nice little t t uh, hips and tips, hips and tints, tints and hips, tints and hips, tips and hints about it as well. Um, and I t one of the things I thought was really good about this was his... Um, uh, sort of essays on exposure and understanding exposure and how in sort of um, dark subjects and very very light subjects how it's important to override your camera's automatic exposure because you'll either end up with underexposed shots if you've got lots of white in the picture or overexposed shots um, well what we mean is that little bits becoming overexposed and he really explained it really well and I think probably the first time it clicked for me and I thought Oh, right, I understand why. Um, lots of different examples, for example, about that. Um, great stuff. I mean, you, you've got hints and tips about architecture. Where's the one that I really enjoyed? Backlighting. There's a ho whole section on how you should think about um, taking photographs with the light coming from the front, um, which, are, which is really useful. And there's all these beautiful pictures and explanations of how they did it. Um, now, there are bits in the uh, book where it is really, well, there's one about depth of field, when it is a specifically film, so as a digital um, camera uh, user, you might think, well, what's that got to do with me? But even with some of these parts, you know, th this, for example, cross-processing uh, techniques produce this sort of image, you can reproduce that in Photoshop or Elements or the game or PaintShop Pro. And so it can give you ideas for different treatments for subjects. Um, Colour infrared. Let's look at. There was probably only really one. Uh, yeah, duplicating slides and that sort of thing. I mean, we're not really going to be interested in about that. But there's some great stuff. Like we were talking about grain. We were talking about film grain. But you, you know, you can apply that to your digital photography by shooting at high ISOs or reproducing the effect in um, in your photo processing software. Um, <laughs> there's some great stuff about you apparently used to be able to buy Polaroid 35mm film that you could expose yourself with this little box what a brilliant idea brilliant idea um, so yeah loads of great info in here loads of great info um, loads of great ideas really beautiful pictures um, so if you see it at your local car boot sale second hand shop um, I doubt you'll be able to buy this anymore but maybe if you have a quick search on Amazon for the author's Lee Frost and the A to Z of creative photography or like I did you know get it from your um, local library it's definitely a really good read really inspirational and really helps with technique in thinking about what do I have to do in this situation to get this particular shot okay thanks for listening